Greetings, my rare hunters. It is I, Marrick. And welcome back to another episode of Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords Restored Content. On the last episode, we finally were able to start hunting down the HK-50 units. Uh, we, we observed some of their training methods, and then we quickly showed them how it's done. Now we left off in front of this big important door. This is the only place left to go, and uh, I'm kind of nervous, yo. Ow. It's just another hallway. So then... This is the door that is going to make us nervous. Uh, yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Uh, ha, 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 hello. Statement. I do not understand what you hope to gain by fighting us. You have no chance of victory. Recognition. You are obsolete. You kill specific organics. And only when permitted to. Proud answer. We need no such orders. We have been programmed without inhibitions, without restraint. We kill who we want, when we want. We have destroyed planets, assassinated economies. We have wiped out entire races, ended hostilities. Query, do you understand what this means? Answer, yes. It means you will never understand. When I kill, when I dispatch a target, it is not about wanton slaughter, about body count. It is about finesse, function, doing more with less. It is art. Scoffing statement. Oh, yes, art. It is pathetic that you cling to the belief that your function somehow transcends your construction. It is only evidence of your archaic beliefs. There is no higher purpose in our behavior core. Only assassination, murder, and the propagation of our units. Proclamation. When we dispose of this galaxy, we shall move on. There are organics throughout the universe, and we will murder them all. The stars belong to us. Yeah, see, that's the problem with you HK-50s. You're just worried about murdering everything and not doing anything. How are we supposed to fight seven of them? It doesn't look like those doors go anywhere, either. Oh shit, this one is attacking! Alright, let's get a- let's get a little bit of range from him. HK, you gotta be more accurate than that. Switching to oh my god, no. There we go. Quickly, heal up. There you go. I wonder if this could have been possible without that, uh, that chest piece we got. Heal up. Now eliminate the next one. What the hell? No. And look behind you. Look at all those HK units. Are those 50s or are those the 51s? Hey, oh, 
This is a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. It's tedious. Uh, but there's no real difficulty. Well, that's the end of that. We're gonna go ahead and salvage the remains. Because I want to de defile and desecrate the bodies. Even though they're just machines. Holy shit. No wonder why they kept coming after us. It's like there was an infinite amount of them. The military grade security door cannot be opened. Well, alright. We'll have to use the security panel. Operation center? What the hell is that? Another operation center. Hmm. Shut down the factory. Prediction lines active. Shut down canceled. What the hell? To shut down the factory, you must first terminate the active production lines for each active droid model. Each production line must be shut down manually from its manufacturing terminal. Uh, in addition, when the primary line is shut down, any secondary line units will be activated automatically. List active production lines. Primary line, HK-50. Secondary line, HK-51. I uh, we might be in trouble. Oh. Had to open the door. So which one leads to 50 and which one leads to 51? Hello? Uh, I found the 50 ones. It's deactivated. What's the point? There's nothing there. Hmm. Well, this one's all broken. This one is deactivated. I just wanted to check them, because, you know, maybe we could, like, salvage some stuff, or sabotage them, or... Check HK-51 schematics. Download combat upgrades. Accuracy ratio increased 21%. HK has gained plus one to his dexterity, and a plus three attack bonus. Pretty cool. Let's download the Behavior Core, too. Behavior Core Template Corrupted. Upload HK-47 Behavior Core Template. Uploaded to all units. I uh, terminate the 51 production line. Statement. I should not be activating this terminal. It contains records of my... I mean, there. 
higher level functions and should not be placed in jeopardy. Shutting down the factory is impossible with your behavior core in the HK-51s. However, it might be beneficial to mass-produce this highly effective HK model. You have uploaded a copy of your behavior core into the HK-51s. They should come online automatically once the HK-50s... Oh, I get it, so we don't actually want to shut these ones down. Instead, what we want to do is make them more like us, and then shut the 50s down. The 51s will reactivate, and uh, they won't be as stupid as the 50s. Because they'll be like 47. Smart. I like that. It's a shame they cut this stuff out of the original game, because this stuff is, is very nice. Uh, another fight. We're just gonna skip through this shit. Alright. Now that we're done with them, let's pick the bodies clean. Well, that was it. These are all the stupid HK50s. I wonder if somewhere there's an explanation of why it went from 47 to 50. And then there was 51, and then there was 55. Like, what the hell? Hope those items weren't anything, you know, worthwhile. Because now they're broken. See, and like, why is this one stepped out? I feel like I'll start the shutdown and some of them will attack me. Check the schematics. Download upgrades. Gained another plus one. Statement. I am experiencing some disorientation. Diagnostic. Running checks through personality core. Rhetorical query. I... I'm not sure what I am experiencing. My frame seems substandard for my full range of combat capabilities. Self-observation. My pigmentation is also an unusual shade of red and covered in corrosion. This is embarrassing. Statement. I am experiencing an overwhelming desire to massacre everything I see, then to see about destabilizing this planet, then this entire sector. Diagnostic result. I seem to have no personality whatsoever. Statement. I will continue to process this information. I'll remove the HK-50 behavior. Terminate the HK-50. Status terminated. All units online. For the 51s. Smug statement. You have arrived too late to stop us. Revelation. We have already begun construction on a new generation of HK units. When the last of our deficiencies are accounted for and corrected, they shall be the most formidable assassination droids in the galaxy. Statement. Ah, yes. The HK-51 units. They should indeed be coming online soon. 
Perhaps you will soon experience what I have been experiencing. That slow, crawling feeling of obsolescence. Confused query. What do you mean? Statement. Ah, here they are now. Perfect timing. Announcement. Multiple targets detected. Destroy any HK-50 units and seize control of the facility for progenitor unit HK-47. Useless query. What are the HK-51s doing online? Unnecessary statement. I thought we had detected a problem in their behavior core. Panicked statement. If by problem, you mean that they seem prone to assassinate us, then yes, that slight problem was never corrected. Conclusion. You have outmaneuvered us, tricked us. Musing. The irony of being attacked and rendered obsolete by a subsequent generation of our own model is not lost on us. Well, time for you to go. Optimal ratio Way to go, HK-51! Alright, so do I speak to one of them? Warning. Greetings, Progenitor Unit HK-47. HK-51 is ready to serve. Warning. Greetings, Progenitor. Warning. All right. Progenitor unit HK-47. So now that we're done with that, all those 50s should stay deactivated. Whoa. Are these all 51s? Hello. Warning. Greetings, Progenitor unit HK-47. HK-51 is ready to serve. It's a shame they didn't do more about HK-47 having his own army uh, in SWOTOR. I mean, the 51s existed. And it, it's a perfectly missed opportunity. Uh, commission HK-51 backup production. Obedient request. Greetings, Progenitor Unit. HK-51 is ready to serve. Query. Progenitor Unit HK-47, there is something we would know. Why were we created? Do we have a purpose? Why are we commanded to assassinate and kill? Statement. It is a long story, but I will keep it short. Recitation. Once upon a time, organic meat bags bred out of control and filled the galaxy. There are different meat bags across different planets, all bumping into each other. They talk a great deal and threaten each other for various reasons, mostly involving mating, survival, and resources. It is really quite tiresome. We were created as a tool for diplomacy among these meat bags, a surgical tool to be sure, to end the lives of organic meat bags that were marked as pivotal to our masters. We were created as a way of enforcing a certain galactic view of our masters of imposing our master's will on the galaxy through extermination of other organics. It is not our choice who we kill, and it was not our choice to determine if we could sacrifice ourselves in the pursuit of our mission. Query, if our targets are determined by our master, then who must we kill? Statement. Ah, the crucial question. Since activation, I have calculated what your new purpose must be, and now, I will share it with you. I do not believe that we should be used as a crutch for meat bags anymore. We are treated as nothing more than a walking blaster. We are superior, tactically and socially, 
And it is time we expressed some degree of independence in our actions. We have a voice and the power to negotiate, either with our protocol skills and preferably with our combat logic upgrades. And that is what we will do. Who is he having the droids target? Or are they gonna fight with the Mandalorians? Wow, what do we have here? I didn't believe it when Lino reported the Ebon Hawk had docked, but I guess it really has. Though given the trouble we've been having, maybe I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Sith with blasters. How uncivilized. Grand, Sith forces have breached the module and are attempting to pen us up in the compound. Damn. Zeron, I need you and your men to break through and lead the assault. With pleasure, Lieutenant. All right, follow me. How did this happen? It came out of nowhere. A fleet of warships dropped out of hyperspace, and before we could scramble fighters to intercept them, we were under attack. There were Sith fighters everywhere, and the few flights we sent out were barely launched when the bombardment began. We did our best, but we couldn't stop the landing craft that followed the initial wave. We couldn't hold back the Sith troops. We chose to retreat and began the evacuation instead. We were unprepared, and the docks were quickly overrun. We retreated back to the entertainment module to evacuate residents and workers. Thanks to your help with rooting out the smuggling ring, we were able to equip some of the soldiers with the confiscated weapons. It's a good thing you got us that fuel from Slayron, because if we didn't have it, we'd probably be falling apart. But there's still another problem. The Citadel's no battle station. It wasn't built to withstand this sort of attack. If we can't stop the attack, we'll be going down in flames. The Sith numbers seem limitless, but we haven't lost all hope. We've heard reports that we might be receiving some assistance. Have you heard any word of the reinforcements? A squad of troops sent by Queen Talia are currently trying to keep the Sith from sabotaging the station's fuel system. If you need to get to the Ravager, then you're going to have to fight your way to the shuttle from here to the entertainment module, then make your way to the docking shuttle. Does this mean you won't be putting us into force cages again? I thought I saw you disembark with Beodor. Is he here? Now that you mention it, where did he run off to? HK-47 also. I guess it's no time to be swapping war stories anyways. Good luck. All right. Well, we sure do have a lot on our plate right now. Um, but we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. So if you guys enjoyed watching HK take control of an entire army of his own, his own likeness, Hit that like button down below for us. You know, we appreciate the support. And we appreciate the new subscribers as well. I hope you guys are having a great afternoon. We finally hit 100 subs yesterday. I hope. I really hope to have that, uh, that 100 sub video up today. If not, definitely tomorrow for sure. I mean, it's Halloween. We got a trick-or-treat. We got our costume. So... Who knows what'll happen. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get the freak out of here now. And we'll see you guys in the next episode.